you guys. Ah, uh, uh, my heart is so full today. Uh, so, three years ago today, my life changed completely. Everything I thought I knew about life, about love, about self, out the window. It was like, nope, scratch that, start again, because we're about to just change things up 110%, you're falling. <laughs> three years ago, at this time, I had a little baby in my hand that I had just given birth to, and I just was like, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. I think actually, if I'm being honest, you guys, about those first few moments, those first few hours, maybe, in, maybe even first few days, what I felt more than even love was um, stunned. I just, I, it's like I, I could recognize that this baby was my responsibility and I felt protective, but I, I, it wasn't like this gushing of love and it's like, my baby, give me my baby. It wasn't that. It was, you're, you're mine? What does that even mean? Why are people leaving me overnight alone with her? What? What? Aren't there rules? I, I actually legit remember in the hospital that first night just thinking, there aren't rules that say a mother can't be left alone with their baby on the first night. I thought it was there must have been a law that obviously you don't stay the first night with your... I don't even know how to explain it, but I just know that I didn't feel this like overwhelming sense of love that you often see portrayed in the movies, but I did feel responsibility. I felt shocked and I felt protective. But in the three years that I've been mothering, uh, I don't know if there is a greater love story than that of a mother and her child. And I, I woke up today so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. And I am just here to say, actually one of the things I did want to say, which I've just shared with you was that it's funny because I didn't have this, you know, magic bond that often I see on movies. And I've talked to a couple other moms and they said, yeah, I didn't have that too. And I was like, phew, it wasn't just me, I'm not weird. I guess if there's a mom out there who's ever felt that and you've never had a chance to talk about it, let's talk about it. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to share. The second thing I wanted to share with you guys is the cake. This cake, this is what I wanna share with you guys. So this is what, I rubbed my eye and I forgot I have makeup. Shit. You have to see this cake because it it's the most beautiful thing. It surpassed my dreams, my, my mood board that I shared with um, Eunice of, is it Ishe? Ishe Bakes or Ishe? Ishe, I think it's Ishe Bakes. Ah, uh, you guys, please, please, please. I recommend her a thousand percent. It was worth every last one of my coins. I would, it, like it was everything and more. It was the showstopper for sure. I am now going to just clear up my house because it's a mess back there and in here too. <laughs> everything is everywhere. Um, but I, yeah, I, I just had to give, I had to share that moment with you guys of motherhood, of gratitude, and of that damn good cake because it was delicious. I'm showing you guys the after, but like these two pillars are what's holding up the cake. All the candy that was in here, it's not even normal. But let me tell you, it was a massive hit. And if ever there was a day to just cheat and have all the sweets in the world, it's today. Look at the decor. And we've got gold chocolate coins. Actually, at some point I was like, oh, it should be one of those surprise cakes where inside there's stuff. And I was like, mm, you know, we're gonna have sweets on the day, candy, yeah. it's fine. That, oh my God. That color is everything.
Sophia with them like pulled out a little bit like this. They just look fuller and like more elegant, especially the white ones. They just open so beautifully. Oh, just when I start my vlog, whatever's happening outside starts happening. Good morning, you guys. I, oh, there we go. I have not spoken to you in a few days. Um, I think actually since Friday, Saturday. Friday? Friday. Oh, and it is Wednesday. So, I was just thinking about it actually when I was in the shower. I'm all showered and dressed and it is 8.20 a.m. Um, and I was just thinking that this vlog is actually very motherhood focused. Because um, I started off by talking about like motherhood and some of the things that I discovered. No, just the one feeling I had at the beginning and how that's evolved and, um, and just celebrating. And now we get to celebrate three moms. So I have identified the three moms that I'm... Um, picking for the giveaway, the one that I announced last week. Anyway, so that's what we're doing today. We're putting together these packages. For now though, I'm about to try and gobble this down and then attempt to make my way to a supermarket. I have written down a list of what I think would would be good to have in the in the gift basket. Yeah. Okay. Hair is all sleeked back edges. I even laid my edges, you guys. I did my brows, but that's the only thing I did. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave the house now. And I think I've got everything. And I've spoken to another one of the giveaway winners actually just now. So that's great. Um, now I just need to speak to the third. Please see my message. Please see my message and send an email. Mm. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go. You guys. <laughs> If you knew, if you knew how I'm trying to balance my camera <laughs> right now, um, yeah. Anyway, look, <laughs> frankly, I'm just excited about a new backdrop to film from, <laughs> even though it's just my car. Mask time. And people with glasses, is this a struggle or is this a struggle? Jesus, it's just, can you hear me? All right, let's go. Shopping, round one, done. I think there's just a few more things I need to get, but um, this is basically it. Also, if you can't properly hear me, it's because I'm still wearing my mask. But yeah, not to take these to the house. So, I've just realized that I can't have this video up tomorrow, Thursday. I feel really bad because I really wanted to have a video up on Thursday. But also, I was playing with fire because I, I should have had more content. It's just... I don't know how regular YouTubers do, <laughs> do it, but um, yeah. Oh, my eyes are hurting. I think those glasses, I definitely need to just get new ones. <laughs> and now I can't see anything there, so I hope it's in focus. But um, I did want to talk to you guys about three things I'm really loving right now. One of which is in my office, so let me go get it. So, first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about that I really have been enjoying is a Netflix show. It's called The Last Dance. Now, if you love basketball, you're gonna love this and you probably already have watched it and I don't need to tell you anything about it. But if you don't love basketball, but you love winning, you're going to love this. And I fall in the second category. There's just, there's something about watching people do everything in their power to go after their dreams that I just love. Doesn't matter if I know nothing about that sport or activity, whatever passions that they're into. Doesn't matter. So basketball, before this, I don't know if I could have told you a single um, basketball team before this show. And even now, I probably can only still name two. But it is a damn good show. Pardon the bus. Um, and it's just following Michael Jordan's story and Chicago Bulls. And it's, I, I just freaking love it. And there's something that was said that really resonated with me. And that is winning comes at a cost. And sometimes you just only think that, I mean, I mean, because winning is glorious. It is exciting. It's exactly what you are hoping for. Um, and then it happens and you realize it actually came at a cost. It might be friendships. It might be a love life. It might be a, a social life, um, family, your health. And so you just kind of have, it's like, it, it's with life, you know, there's always like a balance to things. And so you just need to, you need to be conscious. I mean, that's what I just remember taking from this. Like, 
how badly do I want something and what am I willing to sacrifice to get to get it um that was the first thing second thing that i've really been liking is this book it's an american marriage by tayari jones and it took me ages to get into it my goal this year was to read 20 books it, and i was on like I was, I was somewhere i think by like march i'd read five books it is may and i've still only read five books but i've finally gotten past you know like when you're starting a new book and it's like oh my god i'm trying to get used to your writing i'm trying to understand if i really even like the characters i've gotten past that hump and i'm just like <clears throat> what's happening what's gonna happen um really good book i do wish though i had more books and specifically more um fiction because that's what i generally sink my t teeth into a lot faster but this has been really good the other one which i'm just starting and so i don't know if i highly recommend just yet um it is i will teach you to be rich by i don't have my phone here I'll insert his name on the screen. I don't know if you have heard about him, but I was speaking to a friend of mine who is just as passionate about money and making money, if not more. She's definitely more. Um, and she's definitely more disciplined than I am too. But um, she was talking to me about reading his book and I was like, oh, I'll try it. So I downloaded it on Audible. And so even right now when I was shopping, I am... Um, that's what i was listening to i will teach you to be rich i have to say though like the first uh chapter or two or i don't i don't even know how far i've gone because i'm listening to it but it was um a lot to do with like american money management so i don't know how relevant that is here he talks a lot about credit cards and i'm just like do we do we even use credit cards here maybe we do i don't, I don't know if you do or not um but i just know i was just like oh what would be the equivalent of that here as a culture we've just not embraced it and it doesn't i don't think it works quite the same way as he explains it and if it does if it works exactly the same way then maybe we've been sleeping on something and that's something worth considering hmm, i'm gonna look into that actually um yeah so three things that i just wanted to share with you um and i'm curious to know what books you're reading tell me like what new books the book that i was trying to look for and I've been trying to look for, maybe you guys can tell me where to find it, is Little Fires Everywhere. I think that's, that's, I think that's what it's called. Little Fires Everywhere. Um, and I can't find it, and I really want to read it. Um, at least read it after this. Can I show you guys, though, the masks that I got um, for the winners? Here they are. Um, I got three cucumber and three honey, because they both just sound like the ultimate right so everyone's just gonna get two of each i also want to get my favorite croissant which is the art cafe almond croissant i'll probably get like one almond and one chocolate um but it's i, ho I hope they like it and that would obviously be for i'll get it on the day that i know i'm sending the credit the gift baskets off to them but yeah everything's coming together i hope they like it oh i hope they like it I know it just looks like lines and shadows, but the light in the afternoon in this bedroom is so yummy. So yummy. Anyway, I have just spent the afternoon putting together an article. Literally, it took me three hours and my whole body hurts. <laughs> well, really, really, it's just my, um, my back that hurts. I think it's poor posture, but also it's the, it's just this whole season and not moving around kind of sitting a lot and, and I, I guess i don't have great posture but my back hurts um and i'm now just gonna try and get cozy because i don't need to be wearing jeans at 5 p.m in my house maybe not even a bra tights yes little bralettes instead of bras yes Dun, da, da, da. Cozy clothes. Right, I think I might just press pause on vlogging for the evening. I feel really good about everything about life. Also, I have to say, I've gotten a lo lot of messages from people who are like, hey, landlady. So I was just thinking, maybe you could da 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 da. But they, they start with landlady, and I'm just like, you see me. I see you. I got you. There's even people who are like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, me too. I'm on that boat. Love it. My mom sent me a screenshot of how she saved my name and it's now saved as landlady. 
Manifestation, ladies and gents. Manifestation. All right, I'm gonna switch you off and have a relaxing evening. I might even just lie here and read a little bit of my book because I've had a really, a really productive and nice day. And even though I'm not gonna have a video up tomorrow, it's okay. It's fine. Morning. I changed up my makeup a little bit today in that I have red eyeliner on, which <laughs> you know one of the you know how you start off and it's like I just I just want something casual, simple, no fuss. And then next thing you know, you're picking up your red lip liner and you're like, hmm, let's see what happens. Um, and I, yeah, I, I don't mind it. It's not so crazy. Um, and then I just put my hair up in a bun and pinned the back because I don't know. You can, I'm sure you can see it. And pinned the back up because my hair isn't that long. So it has been about a week since I last continued this video i did shoot a little bit more um but the last time i talked to you guys on this video was exactly a week ago and i want to wrap this video up by showing you guys a couple more things that i included in the um giveaway baskets i finally finally found the three winners and i've spoken to the three winners i had to change things up because i wasn't getting a response which also made me think Running giveaways on YouTube is not the easiest because there's no direct way to communicate with people. Like they, I can only kind of, you know, respond and to to someone's comment and hope that they'll respond in time. Um, which, yeah, it's not the same as say Instagram DM. Oh, it's just a gnat. <laughs> I thought it was a Nairobi fly, and those suckers have been finding their way into my house recently. I don't want the ant in my house though, because it's a massive ant. It's not one of those tiny ones. Um, oh, it's gone out. Okay. Um, yeah, so I finally got the three winners. I now know that hosting giveaways on YouTube, I might make the announcement on YouTube, but it has to be connected to something on Instagram where I can directly communicate and go into your DMs kind of thing. <laughs> Slide into your DMs. Um, right, so uh, I'm going to have breakfast first. And then, can we talk about The Last Dance and how epic that series was? I just finished it on Monday and I'm just like, I'm playing, I'm playing. Michael Jordan is here being one of the own, I think he's the only black billionaire, no, not the only black billionaire, the only black sportsman billionaire. Although he's more than a sportsman, I'm sure he's, on, he's into all kinds of businesses now. But I just kind of went on, like, I, 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 Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. It's like winners, you've got, I, I don't know what to say, except if you haven't watched that series, I think you should. doesn't matter if you like basketball or not. It's about greatness. It's about determination. It's about discipline and teamwork. So watch it. I loved it. And Mondi also just called me yesterday and she said how much she loved it too. And I was like, what for Mondi to love it? And she, I don't think she watches a lot of documentaries, but she was like, she just gulped that up and loved it. I suggest you watch it. It's on Netflix right now. And luck you because you don't have to wait every week for new series, to, for new episodes to be released. You can just watch all 10 at a go, you lucky thing. All right, I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute. This is gonna be so random. Also, I just, I put on um, this necklace that I got from Nancy Y, which I talk about in a different vlog. Um, and I kind of feel like it's got like a, like a Fresh Prince vibe. Are you feeling like the 90s? I, it's it. I feel it. But anyway, I was just here because I was just thinking about this. I don't even know why it came into my mind. But are you the kind of person who, when you call someone, are you gonna be like, "Hi, how are you? Yes, good, good. How have you been? How are you doing today? Great." So I just wanted to find out what's the number for you know, and then you ask whatever it is that you wanted to ask. Or are you the kind of person who will just be like, "Hey, quick one." Tell me, where do I get A, B, C, D? Like, and especially if it's a friend, you know, if it's someone you don't really know, of course you're gonna be more polite. <laughs> it's funny, but with friends you're not. Um, but it's just, it's just because if I call you and I want to just have a quick answer to something, like if I'm looking for something specific or I wanna say something specific, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm just gonna be like, hey hun, um, so where did you get your camera from? Or uh, how much was that cake again or something like that but 
um, but I have friends who will be like, morning, how are you today, how's it going? <laughs> and actually that's one of the big differences between me and Mondi. Well, it's, I don't think that's a big difference, but um, Mondi is definitely like the nicer, how, how is, you know, how's everyone at home? Yeah, okay, and like she's gonna go. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what made me think of that. Actually, I was just thinking about, who was I spit? A big one. Um, I was just thinking about Mondi, actually, and I was just like, yeah, she really is like a, like she's just that person. And like inversely, I'll just be like, babe, where did you get that? <laughs> Great. It's like, you know I love you, you know I care, you know I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Is that a bad thing or not? I don't know. And I just got curious about what you guys are What you guys are like also talk about inception because Haven't you just watched that and I'm about to start laying out my video um, Which is this video um, And I just was thinking about Mon I think it's because I saw her in the clip um, And I just was like oh Mondi uh, And then I thought about other things yeah, that's all. Wow, I am killing it today. I'm having such a productive day. I'm just like boom, boom, boom. Things need to be done and I'm gonna do them all today. <laughs> today. The truth is I don't always have like really productive days. So when I do feel like I've got the energy, I just go ham. Just to do as much as I can to lessen like the workload whenever. So whenever I kind of feel like meh, at least I don't have that much to do. Anyway, so here's where we are with the baskets. I've got the groceries all uh, all lined up. I know that we're getting product from um, Kotex and Huggies as well, and that will probably come in this week or next week. I have also got the face masks, and everyone is getting the cucumber and the honey one as well. I've also got I've also got three gift certificates um, to Chap Chap Go, which is. Uh, an app or a platform where you can buy um, just household products whether it is cleaning supplies diapers foodstuffs things like that and I just figure if there's something else that they are desperately in need of that I didn't think of they can get it from here um, or if they're like listen we go through diapers like a nonsense at least they can replenish from here um, and then I just got this nice little order from Salby Paper Co. And I love, I love their notebooks. Um, I have one. Oh, this isn't it. I have one from them. That's this one. I'm sure I've shown it to you guys before, have I? I freaking love, love their notebooks. So I got these three um, for that because, and I was really thinking, how do I make this like personal but also relevant? Does it work for everyone? Because. How, how do you gift someone that you've never met but hope that you're whatever that whatever you're gifting is going to be significant I, I don't know but um I feel like a notebook is something that someone would be anyone would be grateful for because whether you are um, I don't know at work and you need to jot something down or you're just trying to jot down um, your goals or your feelings it becomes a journal I, I, I personally think a notebook should be um, like a staple for everyone and I love notebooks so I would, I would be thrilled if you gifted me that notebook. Um, and now I want to sit down and I want to write a note to them, to each one of them. Um, right, so I've got these really cute notepads that I got from Mr. Price a while back. They were 450 for a pack. Um, and they're so, I mean, they're a little, I don't know if they're clowny. I don't think they're clowny, but it's joyful. That's what it is. It's joyful and Lord knows that's what we need right now. Um, so, and the envelope looks like this and like that. Just how, how cute is that? Anyway, so I'm just gonna write, um, okay, I'm gonna write each, each one of them a note and yeah that's what we're doing now i'm writing a note you can sit here and we can oh my, that's my amani do you want to be in my vlog no okay oh are we surprised no we know amani never wants to be in my vlog <laughs> and then we can do a little time lapse <laughs> 
Amani, will you ever want to be in my vlog, do you Maybe. think? Maybe. Yeah. All right, boo. By the way, I got these. I got these like months ago. I, I, don't, I don't even remember when I got them, but I think it's just such a handy thing to have around. If you're going for a party, although I don't really, I don't really, I'm not a birthday card giver much. I, I don't. But if I was writing something sentimental to a friend or, you know, um, I don't know why, like for birthdays, I'd be like, nah, not, get, not getting you a card to just say happy birthday. But if it's something that is like really meaningful, I'm trying to make sure that you, I don't know, I'm trying to explain something or I, I don't know. Sometimes it's just good to have notes so that it's for birthdays or just special notes to friends or loved ones. Um, yeah, so tip to you guys, if you ever see a good deal on some of these things, just grab them and then use them whenever you can. And they come in a good pack. Like I think this was a pack of 12. One, two, and yeah, so I still have a few left. I have about six or seven left. Everything's signed and ready to go. I think I just now need to wait for the other packages that are yet to come and then it'll be ready to send off probably next week, I think. Um, I don't know if I said, I'm sure I must have. I'm sure I must have, but I can't remember because it was a week ago when I started this vlog. Maybe even longer, actually, a week and a half. But um, I have to say a big thank you to three anonymous groups of people who saw that um, that I was doing this giveaway and wanted to contribute to it and that's why I was able to make the packages a lot more plump if that's the right word um, or, or just put a lot more things that I think would go a long way for the mothers like I, I can't I I don't know I can't I the internet continues to shock me um, and in a beautiful way, sometimes in not such a beautiful way, but <laughs> but this for sure. I mean, I, I don't, yeah. I mean, when I tell you like as someone who I've never met saw what I was doing, um, reached out all the way from like another country and sent money so I can add on to this, like what? Um, and in, in, in other ways or with the gift vouchers and kind of helping to, to add on to it so that it's like a well-rounded amount and it's just incredible. And also a big thank you, a big thank you to Kotex, um, who I'm sure I must have said it before, but I am working with Kotex, not on this video, not on this video, um, but for this year, I am working with Kotex. Um, and I just was like, guys, hi, can you? send over a couple of pads and tampons and stuff um and they said that they'd be happy to and they even were like wait actually would you like diapers and um wipes and stuff and i was like what yes so thank you and not just to kotex but to verge um the the agency that kind of is handling everything here because i yeah you guys are doing an incredible job and i thank you and i'm sending you lots of love thank you um, right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video because Lord knows how long it is and what's in it. <laughs> but I, I hope you liked it. Um, and if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, actually, because yes, I do think that thumbs up work. I think in my last video, I was like, I don't know why people say it, but I think it helps with something, um, the algorithm, and I feel like it does. So if, like, I've even gone on a liking spree. Before on YouTube, I was like, I don't see, I don't know if it makes a difference or whatever, so I just, I wouldn't bother, even though I enjoyed a video. I just would be like, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but now, yeah, anyway. <laughs> enough enough yapping i'm gonna say goodbye and i'm gonna say thank you for watching this video and i'm gonna say i will see you on thursday because i've already started filming that but not thursday monday monday because i've already started filming that video and i'm not gonna i'm gonna make sure i see you on monday um right bye